Kragas Dreher, also known as the Crab Feeder, is a terrifying new antagonist that is introduced in House of the Dragon Episode 2 to the world of Westeros. He is the spooky character who discreetly nailed sailors to stakes on a sandbar, letting them slowly rot, while hordes of crabs feasted on their corpses after picking at their wounds. It's acceptable if you don't understand who this person is, why he feeds humans to crabs, or how Demon Targaryen, Matt Smith, and the Sea Snake will be able to stop him. HBO's Targaryen serial series has been subtly establishing Crag as Crabfeeder in the background. Crag as Crabfeeder was introduced to us at the House of the Dragon premiere. Corlys Valerian was anxious about a Triarchy pirate sabotaging Westeros' main commerce route in the Stepstones, while everyone else was interested about tournaments and lines of succession. Corlys Valerian established House Valerian as a significant force through the use of trade, earning the moniker, the Sea Snake. Corlys is going to get angry about anything that has an impact on that valuable trade. Kragas Dreher was the Myrish Prince Admiral during the reign of King Viz Ares, according to George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood. If none of that matters to you, Myr is one of the three free cities that made up the system that was referred to as the Triarchy at the time. Lies and Tyrosh were the other two. They are essentially southeast of King's Landing, around a region of sandbars and tiny islands called as the Stepstones, as shown on HBO's official interactive House of the Dragon map. About ten years before to the events of House of the Dragon Season 1, the Triarchy got together to overthrow the city of Volantis. When they were finished, they used Krag as Dreher to defeat the Stepstones. The issue arose when Dreher decided to become a pirate, rather than continue to combat the pirates that troubled the shipping path. He started boarding ships, many of which were Corley's Valerian's property, robbing them of their cargo and feeding the crew to the tides and crabs. Given that Crag is crab feeder has the resources of the Triarchy at his disposal, Viseries is reluctant to engage in combat. War with a strong alliance of three affluent city-states is very different than war with a random pirate. However, Prince Demon and the Sea Snake wish to attempt to defeat Kragas. However, it's possible that Kragas Crabfeeder is already being defeated from within by something. In House of the Dragon, Kragas Crabfeeder wears a menacing mask and seems to be suffering from the dreaded condition known as Grayscale. However, we haven't yet gotten a good look at him. There is no doubt that Kragas Dreher uses Grayscale. Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin does not specifically describe the sickness, but Kragas' decision to have it renders him fearsome and untouchable. Perhaps people are afraid to approach him close enough to kill him for fear of contracting the illness. It might also explain his peculiar obsession with torture. His grayscale-induced lunacy might drive him to be increasingly crueler, rather than just killing captives in a clean way.